Hmm, let's go speak with Byron. Says he's looking for books about we already did some reading. Lids moved into the store. I, I wonder how Byron found this place. Did we tell him? I guess we did. I just want this place to be unknown to everyone else. Gab is even here. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was, aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? Oh, Gav. I was there like, 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> Did you see his look? And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kupka withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then... Had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have tightened back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, 
There was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candleward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. <laughs> Byron is amazing. Such a character. Uh, we have no other quests, so let's... Okay, we can't talk to Gab. Gab, what are you looking at? Is there something important in these boxes? I want to open them. What can there be? Oh, oh, right, the money. <laughs> Otto, Cooper's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzar and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Let's try. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav. <laughs> Otto. Why? I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. What do you mean, Gav? He's incredible. <laughs> May the winds of fortune be forever at your back, Sid. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, yeah, let's hope for no wind. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. I'll be freaking mad if they kill off Byron. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. I already love him. Such a character. Well into the desert. Oh, I love the music already! <laughs> There's fallen ruins here too. Seems to be all over the place. <sighs> I was a young man when last I walked this path. first with petting Torgal. <laughs> not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Oh, wow. Riddle of the Sands. I'm also gonna pet Torgal. Get, boy. Get a snack then. But that's not enough. Oh, 
Let's go. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Oh, it's so nice here. <gasps> I love it. Just sand Many everywhere. Ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together. Accompanying hmm. your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. <laughs> Can just imagine. Hmm. No loot. Oh, there's sandstorms here. Yeah, let's not go close to those. This seems huge. Is there any loot here? Nah. Would have been a good place for hidden loot. Mm-hmm, we can read some. A nation formed from a federation of five smaller states. It is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm and has its capital at Randela, also home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Fang, inside which stands Castle Dasbog, home of Hugo Kopka, dominant of Titan. Kopka, obsessed with finding Sid and exacting his revenge for the murder of Benedicta Harmon, co-opted the soldiers of the realm and had them commit a series of atrocities in an attempt to flush him out of the hiding. Well, it, it did work. Did work quite well. Uh, but this is the way the story should go. I mean, for sure, they weren't just gonna have him like an idle NPC. And the only reason why I remember that silver-haired guy was just because he had this kind of like a little bit of a special character design. And every time a character does look a little bit, a bit more special and thought after, uh, I'm always thinking like, okay, we need to put this character into mind uh, in case they come back. All right, I still have no potions. <laughs> For how long? Like three episodes or two and a half. Seratina. What's here? I just want to look around a little bit. So, no chests here? Three desert roses. Are they pretty? Can't crawl through that. Although if you wanted to, Clive, you could surely do that. But I don't think he wants sand in his underwear. Hmm. There we go. Mithril belt. Now what is that? Oh! It's way better. And it's pretty too. Okay, maybe let's just head to the ruins. Like Byron said, it's uh, ahead of the ruins. 
I just keep on getting distracted by this place. It's so huge and I don't want to miss anything. And there's white chocobos here as well. There's just chocobos everywhere. Make for the Daly Mill Inn. Then we will do that. But I won't miss any loot on the way there. Are you guys headed for the inn as well? Y'all look tired. What do you think those soldiers were? Oh? What soldiers? So, Lord Cook has finally made his move. Yes. I expect that's why there's so many soldiers in town. To deal with any Imperial reprisals. Uh huh. The people here surely seem to know something. Well, we got all the information from Vivian. We trust her. Come on. Let's show them all. We also have a chocobo. There's your chocobo friends. I'm just gonna check if there's anything here. Something glittering? Or any boxes? I see Have glitter! You lost your way already, my boy. The ruins oh. mark the road to the inn. Alright. Oh. oh, we're getting attacked. We're getting Let's attacked. Go. Let's go. Oh, I collected them all. Now that's good. I already killed everyone. Don't need to overkill the corpses. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the water. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I just love the color grading of everything here. And this turquoise water. So pretty. In games, I always love like the desert places, like sand dune places. Wow, it's so pretty. <gasps> wow. So, so, so pretty. Okay, let's continue this way. Oh, almost landed on a human. Let's not come here and make atrocities. <laughs> Don't want to be thrown into jail. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Mm, Byron, what kind of drink you want? Didn't sound like you wanted soda. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Dry, but beautiful. Oh, we can't bring Ambrosia closer? Okay. Because cutscene. Orgle, what do you see? Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from stone here. Mm -hmm. The royalists must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Won't they like now, know who we are? Dogs aren't allowed inside. Oh, but he's a wolf. <laughs> Is that better or worse? Don't we have a costume for Torgal? Can't we make him look like a little kid? Furry little kid? <gasps> he never wore the hood before! I love it. We have use for it.
Oh, we don't stick out at all, especially not Clive. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Honey! Clive! Chocobo! You can't Your eat chocobo. Pal? Would you rather be my squire? <laughs> They're such a fun duo. <laughs> Already. Interesting. Why is the camera following her? Who else is in here? Interesting. Oh! Jyote is here. <gasps> that must mean Joshua is here as Oh. <laughs> he does not sound well. <laughs> Oh no. Your grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that. Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Oh, what if they meet here? <gasps> I hope they meet up. Please let them meet up. Clive already knows he's alive, but hasn't really met up with him. And we're just some feet away! Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uh-oh, are we caught? Uh-oh. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> They're gonna have to, I'm guessing. She was in a hurry. Are they gonna flee? Because trouble? Can you walk, Your Grace? Ah, uh, yeah, they are. Damn it. Trouble may be brewing downstairs. No, stay. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Oh, we that too. Be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Yeah, ah, what he said. I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. No, you can't afford. Friend. Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Why 
guy. He can't fight without food. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Wonderful. Really moment to lose. Friend. <laughs> Stay back, Woo! Uncle. Gladly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, oh damn, I was too fast there. Try it. I didn't think I was gonna start with Titan. I have no potions to waste because I've got no potions. my boy, just like that. Oh thank you, my cheerleader. It's over. Bye bye. Shouldn't have picked a fight with us. That's what you get. Now, where's your boss? <laughs> Easy peasy, right, Clive? Your trouble. Oh, we're not gonna be welcome here. Word of advice, miss. Uh. Soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Wait, they're still here! I thought they went away! Oh, so pretty. Now's our chance. Oh no... Can we save Joshua? What can we do? I'm fine. Flames of Rebirth! Will that work? It's like dying from inside, it feels like. He's even worse off than Sid was. Sid was also coughing off blood, but... I think it's because he has Ultima in his chest, caged. Is it the feather? <gasps> run, Clive, run! Clive? Oh my gosh, is he gonna find them? Just outside the window and run? They're outside, window, Clive, look at the window. There, yes. What? What's the plate for? What? Why are you watching it? Oh! <gasps> he left the carrots! What is it now? He knows it's Joshua because Joshua hates carrots. It... It's nothing. Let's go. No, he knows. He knows. He absolutely knows that Joshua was here. Absolutely. Why are people staring at us? Hi, Torgal. Yeah, we're not so popular. We're sticking out like a sore thumb. Oh, it's so colorful! That's where they left from. He knows. He knows, all right. Well. We didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Mm-hmm. Make for Drake's Fang. Just like need iron. to check out. Are all your muscles so hard? Well, I'd be happy to show you, provided I can afford it. These special ladies are everywhere. Uh, he he knows he's handsome. It's all the fault of this blasted war. 
The moment they find out you're from the Empire, they flat out refuse to do business with you. A thousand gil for a Not popular gold. here, I guess. Just continue you, man, looking man. around. Any time they pull their snouts out of Kukka's trough is when they want to lord it over us. Mm-hmm. I can fix that for you. Did he just use a crystal to light up the cigarette? Like, that is... It's kind of nice. Genuine character needle imported from across the sea. Just one prick and your little sparrow will sing. Little sparrow will sing? What do they mean? Like what? I need to drink. Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. How are you now? <laughs> what kind of pickup line is that? <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone was staring at us there, so <laughs> let's not go there. Let's just continue here. It feels like the people here are like quite lazy because like the entire people of Valencia are quite lazy because they're using crystals. Like they they don't do the fire by themselves. Probably don't do anything by themselves without the crystal and like the the help of the bearers. Ah, they've closed the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Where we're gonna crash? Not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. And whose Find fault is that? Perhaps the desert hair can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Crystal delivery's over. Get back to your homes. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Hmm. Then where will we find this information? Does someone know? Do you know, miss? Let me just check this place. Oh! <gasps> So pretty. This oh. river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey, and they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Such happy times. Oh, this, this is such a beautiful place. Way to the southern seas. Clive, let's bring Jill here. We need to bring her here. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep no. you long. I'm looking for someone. 
A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Well, that's Good it. question. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. So they can't be young? comes with age and experience, believe you me. <laughs> okay, we can believe you. <laughs> Just because Byron says so. Oh, this looks very hot. This is so cozy. This town is truly blessed. The bustling markets, the healing waters, and all under the watchful eye of Lord Cooker, who stands ready to crush any threat that might face us. Mm -hmm. uh, how about a hot bath to soothe the aches and pains of the road? Did I just see him drink from the crystal? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, they're getting lazy with these crystals. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. There's a person. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Luzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Okay, by the baths? Speak with Ferda. So well, pretty. It sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Come on, Byron. Sweet incense! What wax candle? Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. <sighs> do you think Is that a brothel as well? Only as far as I think he trusts us. Do, do they have to send us there every single time? So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Unsavory character. <laughs> Wasn't trying to eat you anyway. That was satisfying. I got them all. <laughs> Guys, I have no intention of fighting you all, but okay. I don't really have potions, and I don't wanna like have to spend my health on you. But I guess I'm doing fine, so. The fact that we can't inflict fear sucks because if they would have seen what Clive can do, I'd be like, okay, inflicted fear, run away from here.
They were only bested though, so they're not dead. Don't mess with me. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. Berta? He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Wherever that is. Well, it doesn't seem to be far away, so... It's still here in Dalimil. Oh, wow. We really need to be getting Jill here. Warm from the oven. Yeah. Fresh bread? Once you go flat. <laughs> what? Flat bread? <laughs> oh wow, this looks really nice. I love bread. Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be transported. But it's so unhealthy. The finest fabrics, fresh from the capital. Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Delamil being a woman of experience. How wrong <laughs> I was. That was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Well, that's one way to hide one's identity really well. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <sighs> <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> He's really handsome too. What is it with all these side characters? Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have. I'm not okay. in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. He's all business, this guy. Fine. 
So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Hmm? Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, <laughs> Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. <laughs> ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. <laughs> well, we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Me too. I thought we were the trouble. In exchange for one great for great sword forged to the expectations hereunder, Red Rooster Trading will pay the sum of one thousand gil, no less than eight hands in length, weight pommel, briar clam inlay. Serrated edge suited for cutting bone. Serrated? Maybe? He's not Sid. He can't be. What? I are you am. calling Master Lubor a liar? Well, well, well. Master Lubor has high expectations of you. Don't disappoint him. No, I won't. What is this? For the best drop in Dalamil, visit the final thing. Mm-hmm. If I need to party, that is. But we don't have time for that right now. You rest, girl. You've earned it. Goddamn, these side characters. They knew exactly what they were doing with this male character in Final Fantasy 16. They freaking knew. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then. I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Hmm. We can read about Lubor, Forge Master of the Briar's Kiss, the finest smithy in Dalamil. Lubor is also the Desert Hare, an ally of Sid's, who once went by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Okay. So. Does that mean he went, like, undercover as a female? And even Sid didn't know that? Or Sid just gave the information and didn't really tell that it was a man? Because riddles! Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang, for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. So the men of the rock...
poop Gusman, I presume. There should be a person over here. No? Not? Ooh, so pretty. Oh my. That's a wallpaper right there. Clive, if you ever get an Instagram account, this is where you take all your pictures, okay? The juiciest meat of greens. You wouldn't believe how much he gave me. Well, I hope you gave as good as you got. <laughs> what can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. I don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think um, I'm starting rude. to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Needed. Hey, let's go to Byron. My carpet's a brighter place in Castle. What was all that crashing and banging? This ain't Byron. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. I'm sorry, you okay? Want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm I can cause more. Cow. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but. Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. But what? Lady? But what? Okay, up here. Is there anything else? Why is the tavern shot? That I need to do before I don't know what's gonna happen if we go find Byron. We've got all the, like, clues. I just want to check around a little bit. The finest fabric! The most yes. fragrant yes. herbs! Lightly and dark! Fresh from the grill! Get it while it's hot! Okay, let's just go up then. There seems to be no other way, so. Wait, I'm pretty sure there was another way. Because this is where we also came from, from another way. Where is Byron? Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? <laughs> He's going about it on his own way, in his own way. Let's check up with him. Byron? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? 
that the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. <laughs> I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. Of course. Of course. <laughs> See, I can speak for you, Clive. I've already said a couple of times the exact same things that Clive has answered with. Fucking men of the wrong. Well, we're gonna take care of them, so... Don't you worry. Wait, we can't get out of here through the back way. Oh. Right. We need to get back to the inn, um, wherever that was. Uh, let's just do this. It's faster and easier. And I was already confused. Why the tavern is shut? Well, you are looking at the issue so it's out here so grand <laughs> love that it can be used in me there max level is it like 50 I just need to check this place out a little bit I see glitter, I run for it. Okay, it seems to be over here. We're just gonna run there. Since it's so close by anyway. Gonna start with the Phoenix. So where are they? Were we tricked? I'll take <gasps> it from here. Or Okay, so they were here. I just didn't see them. Okay, because I saw nothing. Oh, wow. What a stash they have. 
You little thieves. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. I knew it. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Hmm. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. I like that the royalists have like the same kind of accent. Uh, same kind of dialect as Barnabas. Not over yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Fire and flame. Ignition is so much fun. But only when there are several enemies. Oh, you healing! Mm -hmm. Heal this. Oh, I see something glittering over there. Over here. It's over. Bam. What? No, you're sending chauffeur bows. No. Oh, that's so mean. I didn't want to fight any chocobos if I didn't have to. That's so mean. Why you do this game? Why? That's not nice at all. And I was doing so fine keeping away from all the chocobos. <sighs> Until now. Hmm. Don't make me fight more chocobos. Well, that wasn't too bad. That's like my performance, huh? <laughs> I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? <laughs> Great, Beard. You were magnificent. <laughs> the battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, 
Now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. <laughs> Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Well, that was a fun mission. That we got to have Byron the entire time with us. From the hideaway to Dalimail. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, <laughs> thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> Double the... <sighs> Here, wear this. Can we take him with us? <laughs> Desert Rose. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubo. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Look Tell at Byron. Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. <laughs> Maybe not too, Jill. <laughs> we are lost, Elan. To his Achilles. Creepy looking bird. But useful. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? There's nothing wrong with his so name, be sure okay? sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. He's fun. <laughs> well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Oh, we can't bring him with us. Well, it's much more fun with Byron and Lubor together. But I don't know if he would be too much fun only with Clive. Pushed a button. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luber's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? That's right. Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. Be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. 
If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Let's hope so. So he hasn't even done like a kitchen knife or anything, so... Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I'd better get to it. You already seem to know the him very coming. well. Take a sniff, good sir. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Yeah. Let's take this quest as well. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. Oh. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Oh ship, everything I've worked no matter. For. All those years of toil, every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. Okay, I'll fix this hot water issue. But I won't do that right now. I will do that the next time I play, so tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching and bye bye!